I was six months old when I was adopted from Anhui, China. I want to be the first Chinese person to play on the Grand Ole Opry. That's like my life goal. I do feel like I stand out a lot. <laughs> I'm a banana. I'm yellow on the outside and white on the inside. <laughs> When we have a project in school or a question, my teacher asks, like, what genes did you inherit, like in science, you know? And I uh, kind of go, I don't know. I asked her where she came from. Where you came from? I came from China. And me too. I was in an orphanage in China. Okay. So, um, would you ever want to go back? I would want to go back to see the orphanage, but I'm not very sure I'd want to see my birth mother. If I had the preference, I probably wouldn't meet her. You never think about why you were born into a certain family. But if you're put there, it's different. It's like a different thought. Me and a group of girls that were adopted from China with me are going back to our provinces. I don't really have any expectations. Who knows, maybe somebody could find a card and then somebody be there like, oh, hey, that's my kid. But you never know. <laughs> All of us this whole adoption community. We have this commonality about us, this unity, but at the same time, we're each at our own place in our own journey. It's a journey of our past, and we each have our own road and our own path set out for us. I don't think that I could ever consider myself fully Chinese or fully American. No matter where I am in my life, I'm always gonna be sort of somewhere in between.